everybody, welcome to Monkey Business and Beast. Today's video for Vlogween Baby Friday is going to be a little update of Miss Luna and then a little, um, what do you call it? I don't know. Uh, a little update uh, and then a little video of what she's going to wear or what costume should she wear for this Halloween. Uh, I have a few unintentionally, unintentionally have a few, but... Ugh, whatever. Miss Luna is currently... How old are you, Miss Luna? Uh, me. <laughs> She's a year, two months. So I thought I should, instead of doing every month now, I should do it every two month update. I did an update when she turned one. So now when she's uh, a year, so 14 months. So a year, two months. Right, Miss Luna? Right. right. So let's get to it. Miss Luna currently wears 18 months. Well, there's are some of them are there are 12, and then some of them are that are 18 months. Like for the onesies, I currently have like bought her like new ones. Look, these are the new ones that I bought her. I already put a few, and they are 18 months. But she still, but she still has um. She still has onesies that um that fit her that are even they're even nine months so it really depends on the clothes that she has that they still fit or do not fit um for shoes she wears a size uh four i believe well this one says 18 to 24 months this little booties that she has but she currently has some other shoes um and I believe they are size four. This is four and a half. This other little booty that she got from from her aunt. So she wears size um, four or five uh, on shoes. Um, she wears diapers size five. Um, I thought that the size four was already a little bit. It fitted nice, but I would get constant leaks. Um, so I changed her to the size. Uh, five and I believe the size five over over 20 over 27 pounds she is currently currently 25 pounds but um I just think that I'm safer with the size five because it, it goes up her waist really nice and it doesn't leak and then like if I put her at night I could put her with one diaper and by the time I wake up to change her uh, she doesn't have leaks or anything so I like to have it like that not to bother her at night because she does wake up and then we'll stay awake, like awake if I do wake her up to to change her diaper so I really don't <laughs> Like I like my sleep as well, and um, there she is on her crib. Remember, Luna, what are you doing with your 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 candy thing? Look, like yeah. we showed you this in a in a vlog, I believe. Yeah. Look it, it's like holographic pumpkin for. She currently has a bunch of toys and her Care Bears inside, and some Halloween fangs. Remember, Luna. Yeah. Yeah, she is very talkative. Not that she speaks any words, but she 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 mumbles a lot. She says thank you in a very funny way. Um, she she it seems like says sang nandio nandio. Thank you, Luna. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, she's a very grumpy baby still. Or I always call her baby. I don't know if now it's call a toddler once they turn one mm. um she says yeah right Miss Luna <laughs> yeah. she says hi a lot and then she says bye when we're in the store she says hi to everybody and if you don't answer she gets mad with the people that don't answer she says hey hi hi right Miss Luna yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then the other day we were in the store and there was this couple, like elderly couple, and then she had her cat ears, and then she was saying, she was saying hi, but she was going, <laughs> and then the, the grandpa says, oh, she is very ready for Halloween, <laughs> which I thought it was hilarious. Because um, she was actually like doing it in purpose, like, how um, a cat would have doing it, and she knew that she was doing something funny. Right, Miss Luna? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> you see? And she understands me. So I think, um, hoping that she will speak. I know she's a little, still very little. And also, um, she still doesn't walk. She's crawling. She does stand up and then, like, gets hold of nothing and just, like, it's, like, still in the air. But she's still a little bit afraid uh, to take off and walk. We don't have, since we barely moved here in August, to our house we don't have a lot of furniture and i don't have like coffee tables or anything in my living room that she could hold off from so that's why i think she she's having a she's having a little hard time um walking she has one of those pushy things when you put pushy things like a walker kind of thing but um she rarely wants to use it and um she eats almost everything eatable right miss luna Yes. Um, she's still being breastfed. She doesn't get breastfed as often as she would have before. She gets breastfed, I would say, three times a day. And before it was more. Like, she gets breastfed, like, every time she wants to take a nap. She gets breastfed, like, at one or around two when she wants to take the nap. And then, like, once more if she's really grumpy like at eight or somewhere around that time and then when she goes to sleep she gets breastfeed again i don't know i think it's a little bit too much but meh. i having trouble trying to take her off the breastfeeding and she never took a, a bottle and she want she drinks the milk like in a sippy cup but not as much as i would want her to drink like the whole milk from the gallon Yes. Right, Miss Luna? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we changed her, her earrings to little hoops that used to be mine that my daddy bought for me. And uh, because she lost uh, one of the, she had little flowers and she lost the little Whoa. butterfly from the back. So she lost it on the car and it got broken. So I changed her to those little earrings, which used to be mine. Then I let my oh, niece, me. all three of my nieces borrow. So their ears would get used to earrings. And then since they're gold, they don't get no like reaction to anything. So now Miss Luna has them, right? Yeah. And I sometimes got her in a little ponytail over here on the top because she likes it, right, Miss Luna? Give me a kiss. Mm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and for the good part, now that the video is a little bit long, I'm going to show you what what she might wear or what should I put on her. For this Halloween, she has about four costumes. I know. <laughs> but anywho, two of them are like, eh. The first one is the Care Bear Cheer Care Bear, where which is her costume that she wore for her first for her year old birthday. And I thought it since Halloween is going to be in a Friday, not on a Friday, it's going to be in a Monday. It gives me like four days to dress her up, like Friday because there's an event at church. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, so she could be one of these things every day you know but i'm still not sure so the first one the first option that i have is her care bear costume which this is cheer bear and it's a little bit warm <laughs> she's playing with my hair and it has gotten a little bit chilly it already rained last week so i'm not sure so there's the one is cheer bear the second one that i have that it might be a little bit big but i kind of like it because you know i love little mermaid Ow, I thrifted come on, mama. I thrifted this dress and it's like um, like Little Mermaid inspired. This is um from the brand Princess Paradise. Can you see that? Princess Paradise and it's I know it, it says six and I thought it was an S. Well it does have an S and a six, but I thought Meh, and it cost me $4.99. But it's really cute, and it's like, like sequiny, and then like, really nice, and it looks very much like Little Mermaid. So I thought I should um, 
put this on for her and then she has a hairband for her hair which has purple and blue and um i might put that one on her and then the third one is a little witch um right here it's like this little witch it looks big in the in like this little girl but it's not that big look and it's like a little candy corn or like a little witch it has a little skirt and then it has a little hat here on the back with it just like that but this this little hat might be a little bit big so i bought her this one i went to go i should have have gone to headbands from the dollar store for the wreath that i made and they had no more and then i got this one 3.99 it was like it was on sale at the cbs no not the cbs yeah the cbs it was on sale so i think it was like two dollars because it was 40 percent off i believe and it lights up can you see yay and it has a little headband and the little mesh thing here can you see yeah and then the, the fourth one um the fourth one is just being a cat she has these little ears which are gold in here and i just wanted to put a little black dress that she has i should have taken it out but you get the point she could be a, a, a cat oh and then also like because she has this little shirt which is halloweeny and for her to wear like that Friday, it has this little shirt and it has those little, like it has a little cat and a little witch. And I believe this is a bat or a vampire. It's a vampire, a cat, a vampire and a little witch, this little shirt. So I thought like she could wear like this on the Friday or something. I don't know. I don't know. Comment down below. What would, what do you think she should be? Should she be the witch? Should she be... The witch or the cat or the mermaid or the care bear. But yeah, that is all for today's Loggaween and Baby Fridays. Please, please do comment down below which is your favorite costume for Luna. And if you already uh, have subscribed, thank you very much. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will see you next time on another video with another thing. Say bye, Miss Luna. Bye. Say bye, Miss Luna. Bye, Luna. Bye. Bye.